Hey, good morning, Life Point Church. Good morning to all of my friends and family. Glad to get to come and give you a word of encouragement today. Talk to you for just a couple of moments. As I mentioned uh, a couple days ago on Monday, started this new, I guess you could call it a short series maybe, where we're going to focus on the 23rd Psalm. And last Monday, we looked at how David, later in his life, most likely wrote this psalm. And he's talking about God. And the first thing he said is, the Lord is my shepherd. Yahweh is my shepherd. He's letting it be known. I follow God. I follow the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I follow the covenant God, the creator God. I, that is who shepherds me. So here's King David saying, I can only be a good king when I'm following the good shepherd. And then right after this, he's going to begin to talk about the qualities of God and the qualities of following God. What, what does God provide to David as his shepherd? And what we will find is what God provides for David, I believe that he'll provide for me and you. And the very first thing he says following the Lord is my shepherd is, I shall not want. That's Psalm 23, 1, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Want. I shall not lack. Now that word want is a very interesting word. From, from the best that I can tell, it is, it is found only in one other instance in Old Testament Scripture. And that's in Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 21. So if you don't mind, I'm going to read that very short verse to you. Forty years, you being God, sustained them in the wilderness. They, being Israel, lacked nothing. Their clothes did not wear out, and their feet did not swell. We find the word want or lack there. They lacked nothing. God's provision during the time of Israel going from Egypt to the promised land was the type of provision that David has in mind whenever he says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Just as God took care of his people then, God has taken care of David in David's life. And just as God took care of David in David's life, I believe God will take care of us in our life. You see, what makes a good leader, one of those qualities, is that God knew the needs of his people, and he met the needs of of his people. That means that God had a relationship with his people. God was aware of his people. And, and here's, here's the point that I want you to understand today. God is aware of you. God knows you. He knows the issue that, that you're facing. He knows just what you need, and he knows how to provide it. What a blessing to be able to follow the good shepherd and know that he knows us, he loves us, he knows our need, and he will provide for our needs. And Paul writes about this. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, I'm sure many of you know, I want to read, read it to you, it says, And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So today, Whatever situation you're in, realize that God sees you, knows you, and loves you. And whatever need you may have, realize that God sees it and knows it. And whatever provision you need, God will meet it. He will supply. He's your shepherd, and he loves you. God bless you. Thank you for taking a few moments out of, out of your day to watch this. I pray it's a blessing to you. I want you to know I love you. I'm praying for you. I'm praying your needs are met. And I can't wait to see you.